it's now possible to DJ with Spotify in your Rekordbox DJ software. So if you're a user of Rekordbox, maybe you use one of the more standard controllers. This is a fantastic DDJ Flex 4, or you use something like this. As long as you're actually using the software and you're not DJing standalone, because this only works with the Rekordbox software platform on a laptop, then you can now DJ with Spotify in there. Just like you can DJ with Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a big, big platform, right? So it's easy to get started. You need a Spotify premium account. So when you click on the Spotify logo in the Rekordbox software, it will ask you to log into that premium account here. Before you do, you'll be asked to agree to the usual terms and conditions. And then you'll see these two little triangles here that you can expand. So the first one is the made to DJ set of playlists that are there for you to jump into and start DJing from Spotify straight away. As you can see, they've pre-prepared all kinds of music in here for you to get stuck into. A great place to start, especially if you're exploring genres, you're new to this. It's a ready-made collection of music across all the big dance music styles, which is really cool. But of course, the main thing you're going to want to use if you are already a Spotify user with lots of your own playlists is your library. So your library here has got the, in my case, warm up after hours and main room playlists, some playlists that I made to test this with. And so you can drill into your playlist. Spotify now gives you your BPM and key. So you can see the BPM's already been brought in here. Uh, if I wanted to display the key as ever in Rekordbox, I can right click and select key. And you'll see that again, that the key is already in there, which is cool, which makes it a lot easier to find songs that are likely to match and to use recommendations and so on. And other than that, it all works exactly as all the other streaming services doing here. So I'm just doing this all on the software now. Obviously, you can do it on your own controller, whatever you're using. You can analyze tunes, you can load tunes, as you saw then, they load very quickly, uh, and you can play them straight from the platform like that. Now, another thing to bear in mind here is that because it's Rekordbox, and Rekordbox has got quite a good integration with streaming services, you can have playlists in there where you drag in tracks from Spotify, from your local collection, from other streaming services, and build playlists which are mixtures of music, no matter where it came from, which is a nice touch, and it's something that the other platforms don't do in the same way as Rekordbox do. Another thing to bear in mind is that you haven't got a local version of these tracks on here. It will load the track that you are currently playing with. So if that internet goes down while you're playing the track, it will still be there. But you can't download, as far as I can tell at this stage, a whole playlist and keep it in there. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, but at the moment, I think that's one of the limitations here. As long as your internet is solid, then that's not really gonna be a problem. Another thing you can't do, again, as I can tell at this stage, is make playlists inside your Spotify library, move tracks around within playlists and so on. So if I wanna move this track here from my main room playlist to my after hours playlist, for instance, it won't let me do that because it doesn't have that integration back to the Spotify app within Rekordbox. I've had just a few minutes to play with this just to check it works and just to be able to show you that you can do it. You need to go download the latest version of Rekordbox. So just head off to update your Rekordbox in order to be able to do this. You'll know that you've got the right version because alongside all the other streaming services, Apple Music and Beatport and Tidal and so on, down on the right hand side, you will see the Spotify logo, which is your indication that you've got the right version and you can now DJ with Spotify in Rekordbox. If you use Serato, or Algorithms DJ Pro, then the good news is it's also in your software and underneath is a link in the description to where you can find our videos on how to do that. And it's not in Traktor, it's not in Virtual DJ at this moment in time. And again, you can't use it on standalone stuff. So if you're using something like this uh, with a USB stick, there's no way at the moment of doing that. You need to plug into your laptop and DJ from the software in order to use Spotify at this moment. So have fun DJing with Spotify inside Rekordbox. And if you want to know more about either DJing or using Rekordbox, do check out our courses on digital DJ tips. Our Rekordbox Made Easy course has helped thousands of Rekordbox DJs become ninjas in their software. And our complete DJ course based on our best-selling book, Rock the Dance Floor, has helped 
thousands of DJs learn how to DJ whatever gear or software they're using. Come and check that out at digitaldjtips.com. But meanwhile, for me, Phil, here in the studio, get good, get out there, make the moments and enjoy using Spotify inside Recordbox. Till next time.